Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my final review for this Forever Flawless hair. If you remember a few weeks ago, I did my initial review on this hair and now I'm going to show you what I like about it finally a few weeks later. So I'm gonna tell you the pros and the cons and if I recommend y'all to check out this hair or not. So let's go ahead and get started. So today I thought I would show you guys another hairstyle. I usually wear my hair down all the time, but it's starting to get hotter and braids are really popular these days. So I wanted to show y'all just a really cute and simple hairstyle. I got this hairstyle from Sandra Deluxe Instagram page. It's kind of inspired by her. She did a really cute braid and then kind of twisted it into a ponytail like this. I kind of twisted it up at the top and then made it into a braid and then wrapped it around my ponytail and just kind of teased out the ends a little bit. So it's just really nice and simple and I wanted to show you guys a different hairstyle especially because I have a frontal so I wanted to show you guys what it looks at the top and how the hair holds up. So I really do love this hair overall. It is difficult to get volume in the hair though and to tease it up. I teased it a whole bunch. When I first did this hairstyle, it was like really big and poofy here and I teased out the ends, but they keep falling. So if you wanna do like curls or something like that, then I would suggest using a hairspray. I usually use my hairspray from The Way or my Big Sexy Hair for volume, the hairspray that's in the red container. So I would check those out because I have Brazilian straight hair and it does hold a curl, but I've noticed that it falls quicker if you don't put spray or something in it. So I would be aware of that if you wanna do different hairstyles. So as I just mentioned, if you haven't seen the initial review, this hair is Brazilian straight. I have a 14 inch frontal, which is placed behind my hairline, not all the way up, it's a little farther back and it's a 14 inch frontal and then i have three bundles of 16 18 and 20 but i didn't use all of the bundles because with the frontal my hairdresser and i found that we didn't need to use as many bundles to get a nice full look so that is what i have in and i really do like it i mentioned in the first video that it doesn't tangle it doesn't shed things like that I have noticed that it sheds a little bit, but not a lot at all. I feel like it'd just be normal shedding for if you're just combing or running your fingers through your hair. It's not a lot of shedding at all. It's definitely manageable. And I really, really love how smooth and how soft this hair is and how shiny it looks over time. I keep washing it once a week and I have dyed my hair black. It does come in a color natural 1B, but I always dye my hair black and it still holds up. It doesn't feel like straw or get all nasty after it's dyed it still holds up really well. So those are some really good pros for this hair. And I like to use the Organics Argan Oil shampoos and conditioners, or I use the Proganics and it's the Quench line, and it has like electrolytes and things like that to keep your hair moisturized and hydrated. And I also use some of the oil spray, the dry oil spray from Organics as well. And with that, I find that you do not need a lot of it at all. It's definitely recommended to keep your extensions hydrated because of course they're not connected to your scalp, so they don't get that moisture that the rest of your hair usually gets but when I put oil on it sometimes it weighs it down a little bit and that's never really happened before with any other hair brands so this hair really isn't dry at all or brittle or anything like that even after washing and blow drying it so when you do moisturize it I wouldn't put too much moisturizer in it because when I did it weighed it down a little bit and as I mentioned before this is Brazilian straight so of course it's gonna straight out beautifully and perfectly every single time of course I would watch the heat settings for the hair because you don't want to damage it over time but I usually use about I usually go up to like maybe 430 450 range and not I usually put it in just a little side braid and I sleep on a satin pillowcase so I don't wrap my hair most of the time and in the morning it has some nice waves and sometimes I like to leave them as waves but when I want to straighten it out I just go over it just really quickly and it straightens out so fast so that's definitely a pro the only con I would say is the fact that it doesn't hold a curl as well as I would like to like it looks really nice when it's curled and then it'll fall over time so of course as I mentioned go ahead and grab that hairspray or something that you want to hold that style and hold that volume but I think it's also expected as well because it's Brazilian straight so it wouldn't necessarily hold that much of a curl if it's meant to be straight hair so those are really the only things that I have to say about this hair um, does it tangle doesn't shed much watch it when you wear curls or you want to hold that volume and it straightens out beautifully and if you check on forever flawless Instagram or their website they have really really good prices which kind of scare people away sometimes in my opinion because you see this amazing hair and they have all these different brands of hair but the prices are kind of cheap so you're like hmm I wonder if the quality is good but it really is good you get a lot of hair for the price that you pay and the quality is really great for the price that you pay so I would definitely check them out because 
you know, you can't beat it. You're saving money and getting good quality hair. That's pretty rare these days. And this hair is way better than a lot of brands that I've used that are higher priced. So I really recommend checking out this hair if you want to save money and get a good quality brand of hair at the same time. I feel like I should take this down for a second so you can see what it looks like when it's down because it's really nice and pretty when it's wavy. Let's see. So that's all I have for this hair review today. I explained a lot of stuff in my initial review that I kind of continued in this final review. So if you haven't seen that one, go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you think. I will leave everything that you need in the description bar below. So don't forget to check that out. And I'm always free in my comments down below and on any of my social media pages. If you have any other questions or comments, anything that you want to tell me, I'm always here for you guys. So leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.